Hi, uh, this is Rob Kelly, and this very, very short PowerPoint um, video audio is really just to help describe when a client, when a trainee needs to be putting in effort. I've had a couple of clients recently, though working really hard, have found they're pretty up and down, and I think what they're missing is the the point at which they need to do something differently. They're not recognizing the point at which they're starting to go downhill and need to start putting in effort. So if you look at this first, very badly drawn, hand-drawn diagram, I apologize about that. Obviously this is a little bit catastrophic and a bit of a manic drawing, but um, I wanted to look, put lots of peaks in so you can see what I'm saying. So imagine this is a person's mood swings or this is a person's self-esteem over a period of say a week. And obviously you can see they're very, very up and down. On the next drawing, what I've done, I've put in little X's on the drawing at the point where the person starts to go downhill, at the, at the point they start to start having black marbles again, or they start their mood to go down, or their feelings to go down, or they start to brood, or whatever unhelpful thinking styles they have, they start to catastrophize at this point. They start to worry about the past again. They start to think about their job again, or am I going to sleep tonight? But this is the point they're not recognizing. They're not recognizing when they just start to go downhill. That is the point that they need to take action. And that action might be do the dream technique, it might be go out for a run, it might be just have a cup of tea and wake themselves up a bit, it might be leave the building, it might be do something, do anything at all, but recognise that what I'm doing now, if I continue on this path, I'm going to go downhill. I'm going to go downhill if I continue on this path, I need to take action right now to stop this. Now either they're not taking action when they know they should, or they're not recognizing the point at which they need to take action. So this diagram hopefully will cover both of those bases. On this next diagram then, I've put a black dot or a full stop at the bottom of each curve. This is usually when either the trainee or the client starts to put in action, or when they are so tired or so pissed off or so hacked off that they just give up trying and they just start to get better naturally. Don't forget it takes far more effort to be depressed than it does to be happy. It takes far more effort to have low self-esteem than it does to have high self-esteem. Because naturally, if you weren't giving yourself critical thoughts, you would just feel happy. You would just realise that life is wonderful and fantastic and a gift and you just get the fuck on with it. So actually, to feel shit takes far more effort than to feel good. So going downhill, in marbles parlance, means more black marbles. Going uphill, making yourself feel better, means more white marbles. And of course, something to bear in mind, if we go back to the belief that our short-term memory seems to be, for experiences anyway, seems to be a couple of weeks, hence the marbles metaphor. Obviously, if you've got 90% white marbles in your bowl and you're on one of those two big peaks and before someone emails me, yes, I do recognise that the bottom right-hand two troughs do look like a pair of comedy breasts. But if you come back to those two highest peaks, let's say that person's got 90% white marbles in their bowl at that moment. It's very easy to think white marbles when you're surrounded by white marbles. It's very easy to think white marbles when you're lying on a beach in Barbados uh, with a beautiful sea and a, and, a, and a nice drink in your hand, reading a good book. It's much harder to think white marbles when you're at the bottom of those troughs. That's why it's much easier to maintain a good mood, it's much easier to maintain high self-esteem when you've already got it, than it is to drag yourself back up from the bottom of a pit again when you've made yourself feel shit. So these little black dots represent either when people are so tired of putting effort in that they just stop and they just instinctively start to get better or when they suddenly realize oh my god i'm in a bad way i need to put in effort now what we want people to do is to recognize the moment they start to take themselves downhill the moment they start 
to catastrophize or be negative or feel bad or worry about the future, worry about the past, at that very moment, do something. It almost doesn't matter what as long as it's helpful, but just do something. Because to not do anything, you are going to very, very quickly scoot downhill again to the point where you're feeling shit. Particularly if you're a perfectionist and you're going to give yourself grief about it as well. A perfectionist turbocharges that downward spiral by beating himself up about it. Suddenly throwing huge, great, bolder black marbles into their bowls. I hope you find this helpful.